Hi, Hi Floss Tube. I'm Nancy. And I'm Laura. And we are the Addicted, Addicted Sister. Sister. Sisters. I'm so <laughs> she got the wrong name. Ah! <laughs> we are coming to you from my craft room today for the first and last time. So we're showing my lovely fur babies. So Nancy is holding Tiger. He's, He's my big brown, brown tick tabby and He's so sweet. <laughs> he's like, I want down. He's just ready. So he's going now. He's about All 18 right. pounds. Yeah, you can see. There Oof. he goes. And Oof. then my baby, my pretty girl, She's so is Poppy. And she is a Siamese. And she's talking a little bit. Uh -huh. She's just a little fussy. But I wanted you to be able to see them because we won't be filming. Okay, you can go Here, this way. Be. There you go. We run, won't. <laughs> Um, we won't be filming from my craft room anymore Thank after you, this. Uh, next week, this will be my son's room. And of all the lovely things, Brendan has said that we keep all of my um, off-season pieces on the walls in here, so you never know Can what will be here. Behind us? Um, we're still living oh, with here, Christmas in the living room. <laughs> Up there. <yeah. laughs> we're still living with Christmas in the living room because my husband fights me to take it down. He uh -huh. does not want it to come down, which is really kind of sweet. Yeah, so it stays sweet. up a couple of months at my house. That's um, okay. Yeah. My Blackbird piece is pretty much all year. So. Yeah, well, it, it works through the winter for me. <laughs> so, um, But next week, this will be Brendan's room, and he has agreed to leave all of my pieces on the walls. Um, which nice. is kind of sweet. He's 18 and he's willing to have that. So, um, not many kids would do that. Yeah. Even girls. Yeah. Not many girls would do that. So it's, it's really sweet. Um, we wanted to start today with some, your questions and comments from last week. We, Shows. yeah, we, we just thank you so much for watching and you were yes. all so nice to that us. That was so great. I could not <laughs> believe all of the likes and the follows and, and the I, comments. I, oh my yeah. gosh, I was just overwhelmed. What's funny is I think that I really had to talk Nancy into doing this. Yes, she did. And now I think she has the fever. Shh, don't tell. <laughs> <laughs> So we had lovely comments, just lovely welcome comments from our friend Paula Shellgren. Hi, Hi Paula. Paula. As well as Clearest Crystal, Kelly Sluter, uh, Spruced Up Stitching, Homesteading on the Home Front, Melissa Eggleston, Brenda Holzman, and my BFF, Mary English. <laughs> What's you. really sweet about Mary is she's not a stitcher. Not at all. She said, I don't even stitch and I really <laughs> liked your video. She's very supportive and yeah. always has been really supportive of Nancy. So yeah, she's, she's really sweet. Sweetheart. So they're birthday buddies too. Yeah, two days apart. <laughs> then uh, Pines and Stitches said that she, oh. uh, there were several of you that said you really liked my Gilmore Girls bag. Which is cute. I, mean, I never watch Gilmore Girls. I don't know what that about. <laughs> I'm going to pull this up again. This is the bag that Katie gave me for Christmas. It's the cutest little bag. And um, it's and it's really pretty. I mean, it, mm -hmm. it's just lined with black, no pockets or anything. So it's just a tote, which I love. But um, you can get it if you really, really like it on Society6, um, which is just an online site where you can upload... Uh, your own designs and they will make anything you want out of it. So that's really cool. All sorts of really cool things. And that one is by Evie So SEO. And it's either Evie So or Evie Bookish because that was made for the crazy book ladies that, uh, <laughs> that my daughter belongs to. And um, she and Grace Andres both commented on Gilmore Girls, as well as our Blackbird Designs Cardinal, said that they loved our um, our fabric choices. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. And that's what, you know, we've said it's so fun to both of us stitch on the same thing because we're different. So we mm -hmm. choose different things, mm -hmm. but they all come out beautiful. And we love each other's. Yeah. We just have our preferences. Right. So mine was actually stitched on a scrap. It was just a leftover. And I thought, yeah. oh, great. It'll fit on there. And I think I even was told, now that's going to be really close. And I said, yeah, but yeah, okay. I can do that. I mm -hmm. started in the middle and worked out so mm -hmm. that it would be perfectly centered. 
And yours looks on that green, it looks like it's in the forest, mm -hmm. which I really, really love. And Nancy's really makes me think of winter, and hers is on a sparkly fabric. Uh -huh. So, With crystal. really pretty. Really, really pretty. I like that for the winter time. Yeah. And then um, Karen525 five five Stitches said that. She was partial to the green one because it's her favorite color, um, which like, makes me want to tell you that I love stitching on green. I don't know what the deal is. I love stitching on green, but really my favorite color is purple. So You can't guess what my favorite color is. <laughs> blue, blue. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, Karen also pointed us toward Teresa's floss tube because of my magic garden sampler, and that's Kitten Stitcher. And I have watched um, a couple of those this week, and she is so knowledgeable, and I just, it's so fun. And on top of everything else, you get to see her stitching chair in the background, and right when she starts, usually a couple of her cats come in and jump up and curl up <laughs> in the chair, and sometimes by the end of her video... There are different cats in the chair, <laughs> or more have joined, so it's kind of fun. And Karen also recommended Jen's Stitching Niche. Have you watched that? I have not. I, I keep hearing you guys say that's a good one to watch, <clears throat> and I just, I'm, Floss Tube is just so addicting. It's enormous. And I want to watch every video when I watch somebody. Yep. I want to start at the beginning. Beginning and move forward. Mm -hmm. So it takes me a long time. Yep, me too. So me if too. you all could just pause on making floss tube for a little while, we could catch up. <laughs> we could catch up. <laughs> so I, not really. We we wouldn't want to miss anymore. No. So. Uh, then Golden Hair Stitcher Susan said that she likes your fabric wall. Thank you. Thank you. That was a uh, lucky find. It's a twin bunk bed frame that Laura and I found when we were out at lunch to the, we went, actually went to the old mill mm -hmm. and um, we <laughs> happened on this street. This guy was cleaning out this uh, rental place mm -hmm. and he was throwing it out and took me to get clear to the other corner and I went, I think I could use that, Laura. <laughs> she just threw it in reverse like any good sister would do. We backed up and said, hey, took that thing home. And I love it because it it lets me see all of my fabrics at once. Mm -hmm. And I can then take my pattern over to it and say, okay, well, this worked. Will this work? So much easier. And I love it because it's really an inspiration. And I Thank can you. kind of get an idea about what color I want to look toward. Mine are all shoved in a um, in a, <laughs> a dresser, dresser drawer, <laughs> and it's hard to get to them. So It is, and I've had mine in a dresser, and, you know, it's an easy way to keep things. Mm -hmm. But you lose track of what you, or I did. I lost track of what I had. Mm -hmm. So I really like them on the wall. So thank you for the nice comment. Yeah, that was lovely. Uh, sister Stitchers, they said they're happy to see another set Yay! of Stitchers. So Great. Sisters that are Stitchers. Yes. And, um, and I haven't gotten far enough to figure out if you actually get to film together at all or not. Um, I haven't seen that. They're one sister films, and then they switch and the other one is oh so you see both of them and they're talking to each other so they're in the same room no they're in two different cities oh oh so um but they're on they have to be on you know Skype or something okay. similar gotcha. and they are able to switch the screen so that you get to wow. see both sisters and what out. they're doing so really sweet and and yes we like that there are other sisters yes. out there too <laughs> and then uh Priscilla and Chelsea um, I loved you we said. We have arrived. <laughs> you said that you are going to start the. I'm guessing that you mean the Blackbird designs because you said the previous finishes for Stitch Mania, and I nice. would love to see what you come up with, how you do it. Um, I'm guessing you're going to do it on your tea coffee, tea, coffee Monaco. Mm -hmm. Um, but I will love to see what you yes, what you choose. That would be fun. And maybe you're going to end up doing it on your blue Monaco. Ooh, I don't know. I would so. love that. Yeah, I was almost inspired last weekend to try to tea dye, and then you know something else happened, and, <laughs> we, done. and we ran out of weekend. Yeah. <laughs> um, they also said um, that they're adding the Shakespeare's Peddler to the list, <laughs> and the reason I mention that is Nancy and I have discovered that when you watch Floss Tube, you have to keep notes. Yes. 
I just keep my phone there, <laughs> and I go and look it all up and immediately pin that thing so I don't forget about it. And you all are so bad. Yes, you are bad. <laughs> my Pinterest list went, woof. And it just exploded. And, you know, hopefully I have that much storage on Pinterest. Yeah, I don't really, know. <laughs> really. I hope there's a storage. Maybe we'll have to test that. <laughs> and thank you also, Priscilla and Chelsea, for the Chelsea for the retreat wishes. Yes. Um, how sweet. Thank you. We are 13 days away. 13 days. And it's our first retreat that oh we're hosting. Oh, my so, um, but it's something we're interested in, retreat planning. Yeah, so yeah. we, um, we're getting this down pat so we can start really doing this for more than just us. Yes. And we're actually going today to do some more work to finish up because yeah. these ladies that we're doing this for are really a special group they are. and they're, close they're to our hearts and they're kind of our test group and yeah. they kind of know that too. Yeah. So they'll um, tell us if something doesn't work. Yes. And <laughs> we want them to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, then um, Rory's rants. Oh my gosh, vicious trollop! What is up with that? <laughs> I knew that my sister would see that and think, "What? <laughs> what but, are you calling us names?" <laughs> <laughs> but I had to explain to her that that's from Gilmore Girls, and it actually is one of my daughter's favorite sayings from Gilmore Girls. So it was kind of fun to see that Cute. there. I loved it. Cute. And you ask about my Quaker stitch along fabric. Well, it um, is actually, here's my remnant, and I'm going to hold it up close so you can see the tag. It's just um, a solo from Silk Weaver, and it's Wexford cloth. Um, and there is a little code there. I don't know if you could talk to them and get... Hair. Yeah, I'm sure there are cat hairs everywhere. <laughs> I don't know if you could get them to look at that code and see exactly what that was, but... Um, Maybe they would be able to recreate Maybe. it because I have had more comments on that fabric. And, it's beautiful, oh, beautiful color. It is. And I have a nice size piece left, so mm -hmm. I'm still going to be able to do something yeah. really cool on it. Um, and then 34 Gala. Yeah. Hi, Gala. Thank She's you. She's one of our ladies from our online group, so we uh -huh. love that. And she says that the Magic Garden has a chicken. It's a chicken. It's a chicken. <laughs> it's a chicken. <laughs> I think, too, that it's a chicken. The more I look at it, the more I think it's a chicken. I've always thought it was a chicken. I thought it was a crow at first, and then you pointed out the, the craziness of it, and I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. well, okay. and it's in the garden, but I mean, I know other birds can yes. be there, but I think but it it's just, a chicken. I understand a crow in the garden, because yeah. that's why you have scarecrows. Right, right. But this is a magic garden, so, you know, a crazy black chicken. And Chelsea, you'll have to let us know if um, what kind of chicken that really is, oh, yeah, because I bet you know, you know that. <laughs> so, and then um, from now, this is one of my friends on our on our Facebook group, but she posted a question to us there, and she said, "Laura, you have all this stuff, and you're showing all these things. Do you ever use DMC?" And this is our friend Alyssa. Yeah, and Alisa, yes, I really do. I um I use it from time to time. It depends on the on the piece, but I love my over dyes. Yeah, I and, mainly use DMC, I think. And I was in floss <laughs> clubs long enough yeah. that I have a huge supply of floss, so I can pretty much stitch in whatever I want. I have mm -hmm. a lot of silks. I have a lot of cottons. Um, I love stitching with silk, but oh I don't yeah, have, I don't have a lot. And you know, silk is like a precious thing because yeah. it's it's just so much more expensive yes. than the cotton yes. floss. So, but I love it. So that is the end of our shout outs. And thank you again thank you for being so nice and oh, we just loved it. So next we're on to our finishes. And guess who has a finish this week? Woohoo! Woohoo! I finished up. Do you want? I'll pull it out while yeah, you're getting ready. Yeah, that'll probably be easier. There's um, such a glare when we do this that we really should be ready and have these out. And ready? we'll work be on ready? that, okay? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but Actually, we filmed for about a half hour before this and then realized that I had hit picture instead yeah. of video. So we had one pretty picture. So <laughs> we, weren't, we weren't terribly far through, but no. far enough. Okay. So I finished French Woolens by Plum Street Samplers. And um, I, she's just one of my favorite designers that I stitch a lot. You really do like Paulette. I do like her and I like her videos too. But here is my little sheepy 
I love that they all have the little flags on them. And I like the little sheep butts up here. <laughs> little sheepy head down here peeking out. I didn't put the initials on. I I just didn't want to put my initials right in the middle of it. I just, I like it the way Where it is. Where were they supposed to go? They're supposed to go right here in this little, little bitty hole. Oh, okay. But. Right below the, we talked about this in the, in the first time. Nancy said she thought this was a house, but she's decided maybe it's a factory. And I said, yeah. well, it's probably the sheep shearing barn. Makes sense. But they're welcoming <laughs> the sheep into the sheep sharing barn. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's the way it is. You want them to be happy and content <laughs> when you're sharing <laughs> them. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe there's aromatherapy, too. Oh, my. <laughs> no. uh, and then I know last week we did a previous finish. And we will not do that every week because no. we don't have that many. But um, we wanted well, to we pull... we have several, but not enough to keep on continuously. Yes, every week. And yeah. we don't stitch that fast. No. We are not Priscilla and Chelsea. No. no. <laughs> so um, I don't know how you two get so much done so fast. It's amazing. I don't amazing. either. Your needles are just smoking all the time, you know, but... <laughs> Man, but I don't it's, know how they do it. It's really a commitment. Um, I feel like I've done better because one of our friends um, challenged us to stitch for 100 days. And I have done that. Yeah, she gave us a little printout that we could color every day. And I've been pretty faithful in working on mine. But, yeah, it's a lot. It is. I, I mm. And there are days, I will tell you, there are days where... So much else has gone on that I maybe only stitch for half an hour or so. I just, I'm too tired. Yeah. I, I can't do it. And My stitch so. time, my good stitch time is during the day at lunch. Yeah. And I stitch for about 45 minutes a day. But, <clears throat> and not every day. I mean, some days I just want to sit there and gab. <laughs> you know, but there's good light at work in the lunchroom. And that makes a big difference. It does make a big difference for me. So our piece that is the same today is Poinsettia House from Little House Needleworks. This is That's what it looks design. like. And we both fell in love with this and we both had the same idea that we wanted to stitch it on pink. Unusual, isn't it? <laughs> but you'll see how it still is different. <clears throat> yeah, we're still we're still different Baby sisters. Cultures. So this so, is Nancy's. And mine is on a pink crystal. I was trying to get it. Because it's a, you know, winter piece. I like the crystals for winters. I used, it's a pale pink, too. Mm -hmm. um, it's from Silk Weaver, I believe. I bet. But um, there's no name or tag, so it's probably just a solo. But And it's a plain piece. It's not over dyed or anything. And um, then I did mine. I have the title. There are the little tags still on mine. Mine is on, uh, oh, and Nancy's was on 28 count. Mine is on 28 count cashel as well. Uh, mine's cashel. I think yours is an even weave. Yeah, I think so. And um, mine's called Raspberry Twirl. Which what a cool name. <laughs> I really had to think about this because this is kind of a busy fabric. But I really like how it came out and, and there is mine and I changed the wording to say holiday blessings right um because I thought that I would use it more as a Christmassy piece or a winter piece um but that's that's the difference so here's the fun thing <clears throat> Nancy and I <laughs> here's how we're alike we both started in the same corner yeah <laughs> and we have this this piece over here and yeah. The whole back. The whole back. <laughs> yeah. And um, when we put them side by side, I got to get mine folded up too. Then you can see, let's hook mine behind. This, go your way just a little. This is how they look. So, you know, very, very similar mm -hmm. and yet very, very different. My house is definitely Burgundy's, Burgundy's and Nancy's is pinker. Mm -hmm. um, we grew up in a red house. Yeah. So um, we would both like to be live able to come up. House. Yes, we would like to live in another red house. But I also think we would both like to be able to come up with the red um, that mimicked our house. Yeah, it's kind of barn red, but it's not. And 
it just was, yeah. it was wonderful. It and was we, and we always told everybody, we live in the red house on the top of the hill. Yeah, easy and to that find. Was it. Easy to find. So that's our <clears throat> poinsettia house. And next we have Nancy's Whips. They'll go quick. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, we finished our video last night, uh, last night, last, last week. week. And it was the funniest thing. Um, I was over there for some retreat business earlier in the week. And Nancy said, I forgot to show some of mine. <laughs> so we had to uh, we had to pull some stuff out for yeah. her and let her show. So the first one I have, <clears throat> excuse me, this is from Little House Needleworks. And this is directly from their site. Um, it's been a couple years now. This gal finished her um, Little Sheep Virtues like this. She used Sheep in the Meadow in the center and then put all of the little virtues around the outside. And I just thought it turned out so cute. I had to do mine that way too. It's really sweet. So I found a piece that reminds me of lamb's wool. That's one of my favorite uh, fabrics. And, <clears throat> sorry, my throat is trying to decide to Which is funny because um, Stephanie, Pam and Stephanie, Stephanie stitched on lamb's wool and thought it was the most stiff, awful stuff. I love it and that's what Nancy that. likes about it. So that so. was funny. <laughs> and that shows you how different stitchers have different yeah. preferences. Different preferences. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here is my centerpiece. I finished it up. Um, I changed all the flowers to yellow because I wanted them all to be the same, mm -hmm. not alternating with the red. And then in the grass, I changed the little flowers. It's really hard to see, but they're a lilac. I don't know if we can get one really close. close enough. No, really. there you kind of kind can. Of. You can catch it. Yeah, yeah. But I don't even know what color they were supposed to be, like a pink or something. Yeah, they but... were kind of more of a hot pink. Yeah, in there. But I kind of wanted them more to. I think there was more of this this color in the other uh, little sheep virtues. So I wanted those colors to kind of stand out. Mm -hmm. So that was my first one. It's really sweet. I love that. I it's fun, and I really need to get back to it. But you know, you know how that goes. Uh, and then her next one. Let me get this one out. Okay, it is a Halloween piece, and which, you know we all kind of we both kind of like to stitch on Halloween. It is Halloween cobwebs by Waxing Moon Designs, and she says Halloween. When the cobwebs in my house become decorations. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> so there is that pattern. And I'm really got cute. Just a very small little section done. I'm working on her um, hat right now. I love that Nancy has that part done though because you can see um, how it looks against it. the fabric. You want me to get it over here? I think it somehow it's there kind of the color the fabric came from um silk weavers and i've used it for two or three different halloween designs now because it's kind of that modeled Ooh, there are, look i got a good shot yeah oranges of the fabric. and browns and <laughs> it's really pretty i like it mm -hmm. but it's called i think it's called marshmallow it's a marshmallow or toasted marshmallow something or? like that yeah was it in here okay oh, yeah it goes in that Okay. And then my last one that I have is... Oh, she's going to look it up this time. Yeah. Since we had to start again, yeah, we might as well, might well get everything right. Get it right. Yeah, it's uh, Told in a Garden, and it's Family Treasures 3 by Marilyn Levitt Emblem. Um, somebody that I was watching the other day mentioned that in some of the older patterns, what you got was a photograph. Yeah, this is one of them. And this is... I'm going to just get closer and then move it down some this it's is such everything a beautiful piece that color fabric though to me that putty or or taupe mm -hmm. or whatever it is it does got not lost. do the design justice at all there's my fabric color i found that oh so this is called charcoal green jubilin 28 count I don't know who it's by. And the cut size is 8 by 36. Yeah. It's, it's just, uh, it's not an over dyed fabric. So no. I would think you could find charcoal green. It's a beautiful green. I think the green really sets off all of the design on this. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to talk about this piece right here, which, <laughs> you know, it's the 
the gate, the fence, the arbor, whatever you want to call it, the entrance to the garden. And it had to be just right. Well, I'm always off a little bit on everything, but my, <laughs> <laughs> my dear sister stuck with me and went through and checked for me, found where I was off, helped me undo it and get it all lined up back again. Well, little does she know I'm off again up here, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I'm going to make it work. You know, it's, um, uh, makes it more my own that I do uh -huh. it. There you go. But I just love all the flowers. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love her, in her, her skirt. Yeah. It's just so pretty. All of the colors that are in this, some of them are really surprising because yeah. you wonder how in the world they're going to work together. But it's, it's very much like a real garden that you have, yeah, a you know, mix things. of plants and, mm -hmm. and colors. And so. you know what? That's kind of my place in life to be the person who fixes things. <laughs> um, I'm the person who gets knots out of things. I'm uh, Very that's good me. At that. That's me. I just do that. Um, so those were Nancy's other whips. And See, did I you don't have very one? many. And then I want to tell you that I have been stitching a long time. <laughs> this and, is her caveat. Yeah, this is it. So, um, I am. We're not showing you all my whips today. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, maybe I should be called the distracted stitcher. But <laughs> the, <laughs> the thing is, I'm addicted, and I keep buying patterns, and then um, and you I, guys don't know. Yeah. And then I don't finish them because I just want to go on to the next thing. And I'm not quite done yet, yeah. so I still have to go on. So I'm just going to show you a group of mine today, and we'll just see how it goes. I'll I'll try over the next several weeks to bring yeah. just we'll do handfuls. So the first one I have is a Rosewood Manor, and it's this called Green on Green. Green on green by Rosemary. And I love it. It's and, beautiful. Um, maybe Nancy will look at what... Oh, my floss is from... I don't think it has a name. Oh, my floss is from um, Carrie's Threads. And um, I actually think it's one that she just had. Yeah, it's a limited edition. So it's a, a really gorgeous green floss. This is what I have stitched so far. Oh, wow, that's really not showing well. Let's try Sorry. giving it more here. I was trying to check to make there sure your go. name really wasn't on there. So um, that is the lower right corner because yeah. I stitch kind of odd from everyone else. But that is what I have done, and I really am liking the floss. And my green has a lot of brown in it, so it's really that's pretty. really okay that it, that it looks Very like that. So. delicate looking. And that's on a linen. We'll have a linen discussion here in a while. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> then the next one I have, um, my sister. My sister brings me, me a birthday present and says, when I pull it out, she says, I named that. I was so excited. So there was a contest online. And this is more a me thing than a Nancy thing. But I love this. Motif Musings by T.A. Smith Designs. And it's this, this. This is just a close-up of part of it. Now, what my sister did not do or no, was... Or no, or no. Yes. Was <laughs> look at the size of the piece. Um, can I just tell you that this is my fabric. <laughs> Like this. <laughs> this is my fabric to do this. She's beating me with the fabric while she's showing you. <laughs> so it's huge. I mean, it's it's really huge. And what I've gotten done so far, it took me a long time to decide on a um, on a, a thread that I love. Mm -hmm. I, the the fabric I found fairly quickly, but because I wanted something close to what they had. But a floss was really hard for me. And I ended up with um, Needleworks. And it's Needleworks 1140. 1140. And I love this. So purple and blue together, one of my favorite combinations. And really it's, it's kind of green. cool. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool because, um, you know, my favorite's purple, hers is blue. blue. And so it's kind of the two of us together in here. 
And this is a little piece of the floss still together. Yeah, I would have never dreamt that that design was that big. <laughs> and I am moving some things wow. around um, in this one. And I am making um, my family's initials show in here together. So I've already moved the K over. Yeah, the so B, B I left where it mm -hmm. was. And they had, it had spelled out hair. And I'm going to mess that up. Oh. See it? Oh, it sure does. <laughs> Harrison Rabbit. Yes. I was looking for H-A-I-R. So, but I'm moving things so that um, that our four initials will be there. And I oftentimes cool. will include our J-L-K-B. Yeah. So that's kind of a fun thing. Then I have another one. And I almost didn't show you this one because it's such a little piece. And, and it's really kind of silly that I haven't finished it. But I know what's holding me back on this. So this is a um, Quaker pin cushions from Jeanette Douglas Designs. I can't get that. Seat. Love these little things. It's okay. It's gonna go in a bag. They all, yeah. Yeah. Um, and what I have is this. Let's see. Let's put this put behind, the, put it. behind it. Yeah. I convinced her that she could show it because I learned from mischievous stitchers that um, she and either her sister or friend determined that if you had 30 stitches in, that was a start. Anything less was not. I have way more than 30. I think so. So here's my, <laughs> I'll show you what's holding me up. You wanna hold just the yeah. piece up? Here's what's holding me up. I want to make this into a pin cushion and I am going to, um, you can leave that behind it. I am going to back it with felt. Well, here's the first piece I bought. Wrong Love this, color. wrong color. And it's really cute. It's checked. Got a little check in it there, is yeah. adorable. So I thought, well, I'll buy this one. And I don't know, this one might work, but it's still too red. Yeah, not not good. So not good. Yeah, we're just not getting there. I need to buy, and I need even, this purple color, like the floss. Mm -hmm, I need like a blue purple. Mm -hmm. So it's, and I'm using. Um, uh -oh, uh -oh. It. That's okay. I'm using Grapevine, which is a Vicki Clayton. Um, and this one I think you will actually maybe be able to see. Those are the colors in it. I love Vicki Clayton floss. It's yeah. just so pretty. So that's, that's what I'm doing on this one. I even have another piece of fabric selected for the next one. And maybe I'll use one of those pretty little pieces on it. Yeah. You know, who knows? Cool. So... Um, the next you one. You can't just let them go to no. waste. I mean, no. they're just too pretty. Uh, and I keep all of my little <laughs> scraps. I am, yeah, it fits. Okay. Um, I am, I'm one of those people who will stitch down to the last little corner of things. I don't know how she does it. <laughs> so I saw this online and it was an out of print chart. And um, noise. Sorry. a lady sent me this one. And I haven't asked her permission, so I will not say who it was. But this is Hearts and Flowers, the Violet Sampler from the Drawn Thread. That is just beautiful. And it's wonderful. It's on this dark plum fabric. Beautiful. Um, beautiful piece. And This I, doesn't do it justice, yeah. really. The colors are just great. But I love, love, love it. But it's really dark. Oh, look, you can see me behind it. So my fabric is that thin. I mean, it's <laughs> linen and it is a delicate linen. So that is what I have stitched so far. And I don't know if you can see, but look at all the little lazy daisies in um, in this band yeah, this here. Chain stitch or... Or a, yeah. And there's just, I mean, the centers of these flowers. There is more in this one little starting band than there are in a lot of other pieces Whole altogether. Piece. Mm -hmm. I did show the front, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you showed. <laughs> Sometimes you showed I'm it. not sure. <laughs> with my... So, um, but beautiful. I can only stitch on that when I am in really, really good light because it tires my eyes. And um, I do have a new. Um, so we have to go a new to the light library for that, huh? Yeah. But we do have new lights that we got from our brother and sister-in-law for Christmas, and they actually show some good light. So maybe I'll try it oh, with that again. Okay. But yes, it's been a library piece. 
But Nancy has not had much library time, so... Oh. My next one I really, really love. This is Hummingbead Heaven from Just Nan. And I'm doing the sampler. It's called Bunny Hop, it says here. Oh, Bunny Hop is this, the cushion. Oh, okay. So I'm doing the big one. And I will do the little Bunny Hop cushion at the end, too, because it's just so cute you can't stand it. And I'm using, uh, my fabric is 28 Count Cashel. Platinum. Oh, it does say that. Platinum Cashel. It looked kind of green to me, but I can see maybe yeah. it's just my crazy light. But this is what I have done so far. And on that bunny, you probably can't tell, but for his tail and his tummy, I use some Whisper to make <laughs> him a little bit fuzzy. And I love that. I'm going to have to get something out and fuzz him up so you can see it. Um, maybe I change... Oh, I did change the color of the bunny because... I just didn't like. He's too he was pale. Way too pale. Yeah. So I'll have to show you this. Um, this one has some specialty stitches in it too. Yes, and it's really fun. Look at that—a woven strawberry. Mm -hmm. Never heard of that. So um, this is a Victorian motto sampler floss. You know what? Let's put this behind it because maybe it'll show all of it. And it's just a light brown. Um, I think it actually may be one that Nancy threw in as a thank you. Nancy Turner threw in as a thank you when I ordered floss from her. And oh, it's just nice. gorgeous. It's got so many colors. Yeah, like grays and browns mm -hmm. and kind of a peachy color. And, and I felt like it gave my bunny oh, yeah, good movement. Real so, good definition on him now. Yeah, you definitely get to see a lot. Am I still putting all of these in the same bag? Yep. Oh, Golly, I don't know how she gets out of here. <laughs> I am really, really good at stuffing them. Uh, my next one is called A Very Fine Sampler by Birds of a Feather. And I am not, well, I'm not putting anything down the verse here. Below. But I may put the verse up here at the top. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to finish everything. Really I just haven't gotten that far. Yeah. This no. doesn't have a bag. It's all just going to slide inside. Okay. So, and I bet I'm going to need the pattern behind this, or maybe I can get enough. So, look at this. Look how far I am. Very close, really. And I'm really. doing something weird that On the I... flower basket, yeah. I'm doing something weird that I never normally do. Um, I did... I got far enough along the bottom. I did that whole orangey border along the bottom. And got to the basket, and then I thought, oh, I'm just going to put all of these, all of these stems in, and then work from there. And I've been working one color at a time. So currently, I am, which I don't normally crazy, do, crazy girl, but it works really well for this one. Um, I'm working on this light pink, so I've got it here, and I've got it here, and I still have to go. See, the tulip over here is not filled in. But I have to go all the way across with it. And don't you love those crazy little topiary looking trees at the bottom? They're yeah, just hysterical. So that's that one. And and I'll figure out the top. And um, Nancy and I will probably have lots of discussions about how I should do that one. Because, you know, sometimes you need another opinion to get it all <laughs> together. That'll be fun. So my next one is from Homespun Sampler. And it's called the Celtic Band Sampler. Now, this one called for all DMC. <laughs> okay, here's a case where this called for DMC. I love this piece. It's so cool. You're using Gast, Carries. <laughs> Those are the only ones I see right here. Am I doing DMC? No. I um, went through and chose colors that I pulled all of the DMC. And then I went through and I chose colors that I thought I would um, use. And what I am doing this on is a Silk Weaver 32 count solo. Um, I wanted, I had listed a couple of fabrics that I wanted. Yeah, that's what I'm smiling about. She's got a notes up here to the top to herself. It says, watch Silk Weaver for 32 count quarter yard days gone by. Watch PTP for 32 count one quarter yard chalice. So, check Paradigm Lost Alphabet. <laughs> yeah, I, I considered um, changing the alphabet some on this. And here's what's really funny. You guys are just going to laugh at me because I start at the bottom most of the time. So, guess what's in here? 
the date. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> and here's the thing. Um, the year? date is right here. 13? 2013. Oh, my goodness. It's, um, where did I, can you point? It's on your side. See it's right at the over bottom? here. Right there. 2013. So, who knows? Maybe... <laughs> Maybe when I finish it, I'll go back in and I'll change that. But maybe you can make one of those probably X's. Probably not. One of the two of those ones and X. I don't know. Twenty one. Twenty one. That would give me a while. <laughs> so there is that one. Um, I'm trying to move quick here, ladies and gentlemen. If any yeah. of you are out there, um, I stitched in a round robin group for a long, long time, oh, and. This um, is so sweet. We, I, I can't shove them in. I'm making too much noise. <laughs> well, that's the last one that goes in there. Okay. Um, there was a time where we decided um, I had bought everybody this fabric from Picture This Plus. This was an orphan. She had a full yard of it. I'll never be able to show you the gorgeous color. It's, really it's um, a soft, soft pink with some greens in it. And what happened is that when Marilyn makes an orphan, it's because the color did not take like her standard color does. And I think that I ended up with 32 count fabric because it looks kind of tiny. And my daughter and I have always shared a love of Jane Austen. And we, I think we told you in the last one that we, you know, we've seen all of the Jane Austen yeah, movies and too. things. Love them. So love them. Um, <clears throat> when Katie was getting ready to graduate high school, 2007, I got the idea that we would start on this and that maybe it would be finished by the time she graduated college. 2012. <laughs> well, it's not done. Um, my four ladies each did, there were four of us, <clears throat> so myself and three other ladies, we've all stitched on it and I need a few more to finish it out and I just need to get a couple of people who have some time to do it. Um, this one... I had a lady who was really going to stitch on it, and then she had some health issues, and she kept thinking she would make herself do it, yeah. and I finally convinced her that, you know, there, I was not go. upset with her. I just wanted it back so I could get done. So the cool thing is Katie knows that this is out there and that it exists, but she's never seen it other than she designed, she designed this eye that's right up here at the top, this. And I think it's just gorgeous. And because we have both done, um, we've both done embroidery, I was able to put in a little lazy daisy flower and leaves and we just made it all work. But I chose a color palette and then each stitcher was asked to do one of the verses and I had charted them out, one of the, quotes from a movie and then put the title of the movie and then just do a few little bands underneath it. So I love how that's coming out. So this is our yeah, Jane cool. Austen sampler and there are just a couple more to go and very, very cool. Maybe one day soon I'll convince Nancy that she should add to her niece's piece. Because oh, it is I might be able to do that. <laughs> It's really special and it's really gorgeous. Yes, it I is. just love it. Okay, the next, it's yes, that there. goes in there. The next group will go in here. Okay. So I have a couple more stacks. There's so, so many lips I quick. can't keep up with them. <laughs> um, so the next one I have is favorite things from a needle and Fred. And I laugh about this one because I liked it so much that I bought it twice. <laughs> I've done that. So, I don't know how many times. And really, I may have to give this one to my sister. I love this one. And um, the fabric that I have is Pole Stitches Designs, Dragon Shades, it's gorgeous. Black Current Wine, but it's a, a Jobelin. And I'm just going to admit it right now. I am a linen snob. <laughs> I like linen. Um, and, and the feel of, of these oh, even weaves drives me insane. And, and I think it feels so smooth yeah. and so soft. And look, I, it's hard with me behind it because yeah, I'm too. Well, you've got. 
Look at this cool fabric, though. I mean, pretty, pretty, pretty. And it's purple. It's so gorgeous. Yeah, it is purple. Pretty. I mean, it's wonderful. It's kind of but, a lilac y color. Yeah. That's all I have stitched. And um, really, I would, I, I may just end up giving this to Nancy and finding a piece of fabric in my stash and starting over because I'm just, oh. it's just making me crazy. And, and I don't know that it will ever get done in this incarnation. So uh, okay. I'll have to, you know, do figure out what I'm going to do. But Nancy, you may have a project soon. Oh, my goodness. Okay, then this She's next so one. Snob. Yeah, I am such a snob. This next one I had to um, I had to pull out for today because it's one of Nancy's favorites. It is. I love it. It's by Plum Street. <laughs> it's called Primitive <laughs> Mood Keep. Okay, so there's the front of the pattern. And then let's just do this so that you can see them. How is... Yeah. So you're supposed to stitch this on one side and this on the other. And it says, Today, blessings to thee. Today, a pox upon, upon thee. thee. So really <laughs> cool. And um, our, um, our LNS has... They will put remnants over that we can... We can buy um, at a really reduced price. So I found two pieces of this days gone by fabric. So mine will be the same on both sides. But this is why. Count. Look at this fabric. It's gorgeous. Is that just the, the coolest color. thing? And I only have that little bitty bit going so far today. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is, I believe I started with blessings. No, it looks like you did pox because see the star is down below instead of out to the side. It's right below today. It's right here. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> so gotta love that. But I love that one and it is really, really a cutie. So it will, it will hopefully get done. You know, it's like, cute. I like it. I'm seeing all my babies here, and now I really want to stitch. So that's what makes it hard when you can start getting them all out like this. It is. Um, this next one was a gift to me, and it's from Cheris Cherished Stitches, and it's called Amethyst Collection Needlebook and Scissors Fob. So the round robin ladies that I stitched with that did the the beautiful Jane Austen. Um, we exchange things for birthdays and we um, usually decided that it would be fun to give gifts all based on a theme. Oh. So this year, the year that I was given this, it was based on our favorite color. So of course my things are all purple. But this is what I have. So cool. Love this. And look at these. Wow. Those she are sent beautiful. me those. Is that just wonderful? So I have something to attach the fob to. Uh -huh. I have started, thank you, nice catch. Came, came right <laughs> to me. I guess that means I get to keep them. <laughs> no. Oh, damn. Um, I have this little <laughs> leftover piece of... Um, Gosh, you're nice, too. Yeah. Colorscapes fabric from Picture This Plus. Um, because it is this beautiful blue and purple. Actually, I'm sure this goes this way just because of how I stitch. But um, look at that. I am almost through That's pretty. with the needle book, and I just haven't finished it. And she sent me, it only uses two colors. She sent me two beautiful colors. Um, I have Gloriana Grape and Gloriana Granny Smith Green. Those are the two colors being used, and I'm just doing one strand on this. I'm pretty sure it's a 32 count. The fabric yeah, is just gorgeous. And, you know, it's another one of those that I had this remnant. I mean, here's the rest of it that I have. And it won't take this much for the fob. And then I'll have another little piece mm -hmm. to stitch something on. And I'm sure that I will find something because I love it. Yeah. And well, there's a sweet, sweet little, little note, note from Judy in there they as well. They uh, suggested 36 count lakeside wood smoke. So I like your conversion though I think it's prettier um oftentimes I just use whatever is in the house You're, well <laughs> that's the fun of it right um I evidently didn't oh this is the bag maybe this one slid okay so my next one I have to be a little quiet because I bought this one as a gift for my husband for our anniversary 
and I which, bought which it anniversary on? for our 30th anniversary. When was that? We will have our 32nd anniversary in two months. <laughs> so, but I there were so many things going on that we just yeah. you all know how that happens. Life happens. So it's this a good marriage by Lizzie Kate. And I think the other thing that really held me up is that um, the fabric I'm stitching on is a little bit smaller count. And I'm trying, I was trying to use two strands um, to stitch this with, and it was just a pain. It was distorting the threads, and I, I wasn't enjoying it. So I finished with um, two strands on the bottom on the border at the bottom. And then I've only used a single strand for the lettering so far. Mm. And it went much faster. And I don't think you really noticed the oh, difference. No. Mm -mm. Looks perfect. And in fact, I think this flower is one and this one is two. Oh. So not no. enough to notice a difference. No, and kind of, those things to me, personalize it, make it better. And if anybody notices, well, good for them. Yeah. But look, i got to show you this cute bag. Look at that. <laughs> I love the stripes on this. I've never seen this, Laura. That's um, cute. And I stuck it in there so that nothing would show. Yeah. Yeah. I think the I camouflage. got that in a teacher giveaway. Um, <laughs> somebody just put it, and there's a smaller bag that matches it. Oh, it's so, so. cute. My next one is, um, I think this was a gift also. It's called Texas Wildflowers Mini Impressionisms Number no. One from Cross Eyed Cat, Cross Stitch Designs by Catherine Roca. And first off, she spells her name the right way, like my daughter does. <laughs> <laughs> just teasing. Um, but I just love this. Um, I'm a huge Monet fan, and the impressionism in this just. I'm sure that's what appeals to me. It's really pretty. And then I am stitching this on pure plain old white linen because this will be a solid one. Yeah, so. Actually, I could probably do this for full coverage fifth, full coverage on the fifth on Stitch Mania. Um, that's just one color through that bottom for part of the way. And then, you know, when I ran out of floss, I stopped. So, Pretty. you know, like I stopped kind of abruptly up here, but. It's because that's where the floss ran out. So I just did a little bit, and then I'll get some more on there. I'm sure nobody else does that. Just stops uh, when their floss runs out. Okay, here's one. I have to ask you this one. Uh-oh. I, um, I am a crazy stitcher. I use petite needles, and um, I use petite needles because, like, I use every last bit of the floss that I can. Has anybody ever gotten close to the end of the floss and stitched faster just so that you wouldn't run out? <laughs> I have. Oh, that's hilarious. Don't you love it? So, yeah. <laughs> I have the, I use the Bowen, uh, what, 26? Mm -hmm. 26. And um, I've gotten close to the end and didn't want to change out my floss. I pulled my needle out, passed it over to my sister <laughs> so she could use her little petite and get it right down to the very end for me. And you know what? I'm really patient with it. I will yeah, thread. Not. I use my threader and I will thread that floss, thread that floss, thread <gasps> that floss to get it through. I will even get it stuck through to the back and turn over and thread that floss again once I have the needle. <laughs> I put the needle in first and then thread yeah. the needle. Um, I have to show you, this is what my next project goes in. And this beautiful is a beautiful, bag. beautiful bag that our friend Judy Starkey made. I told her that obviously purple is my favorite color. It's a real and, tight little floral print. Yeah. And then I wanted, I wanted a purple bag. It's just a pocket. Um, this is a large one. She mm -hmm. makes some smaller ones that are more, I would think you would do some of like the size of that last pattern in them like this. Oh yeah. Um, because they're, I, we it's might probably, be able to do it by 12 in them. I don't know. It's maybe eight and a half by 11, whatever. Yeah. So anyway, that's what I have. And it's really roomy. This one does nice, not padded. It's yeah. really cool. They're gorgeous. She does a beautiful job on them. This one does not have a, I, I don't have a picture I can show you. Um, if you want to see what this looks like, you need to go to the Linen and Threads um, 2017 Stitch Along. Yeah. Um, On I, Facebook. Yes. Well, 
You well, find it's it on their, on their site, site mm -hmm. uh, on their website. Yeah. Um, will you take the other side on this? Because I have to undo it. So this is my start. And somebody had done different colors for all the flowers. And I fell in love with that. And then I didn't see any other posts from them. So I have no idea how they finished it. But I decided after that that I had to calm it down a little. So it's this pretty. this peachy pinky color is up in here. Mm -hmm. This blue is brand new. Um, and I am taking that green all the way down. The, uh, even on the top, this is one green, these tall things. And this border edge is a darker green. And I am using it all the way down. And I'm down to this fun row. Where again, it will be a little Topiaries more subtle. and urns and things. Mm -hmm. It's very pretty. But it'll be a little more subtle than the top. And yeah. I'll, I will figure out. I mean, I had a pop of color with the, I don't know what, with the little viney flowers through the middle. Um, so. Did you say these are all Nancy's? These flosses? are. These are all Victorian Motto Sampler Shop flosses. And the fabric is called Carol's Meadow. And it's from it's Silk beautiful. Weaver. Um, and I beautiful. saw it when in one I of his. You can see that. You see the green and the purple in there. Show him the big pink spot though, because that's like open. Just open this. Oh, where'd it go? Here we go. Look at this crazy big pink spot. <laughs> and it will work perfect. Oh yeah. So it'll be beautiful. Um, Kevin, I don't know if he still does this, but he was doing auctions. On Facebook, He's on the Silk Weaver site? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wednesdays and Thursdays, I believe. Oh, you should go look. Um, oftentimes, it's like the odd-sized end piece that he has left. Um, and I saw Carol's Meadow up as one of the pieces and just fell in love with it and thought, my garden would be beautiful on that. <laughs> you can throw that on the floor. Okay. The problem with um, Silk Weaver's, Kevin's auctions like that, you get caught in a oh. frenzy and you're me, 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 me. And you will buy everything under the sun. And then you get them and you're like, what, what was I this for? That? But uh. <laughs> they're all beautiful. You do them anyway. You know, there's plenty of plenty of designs to do them on. Mm -hmm. um, so these, this next one, I actually have the whole series. And I don't know if I'll show you. I, I could quickly show you the fabrics with them today. Okay. I'll leave that out. Um, the um, This is a Sisters and Best Friends series. It was a seasonal series. The one that I have started is this one, Winter Peace. I love this. Look at that sweet little snowman. That, that little guy. And I got a wild hair, as I often do, and decided I would stitch them on 40 count, which I do fine with. I just... You know, I just need Crazy to sit and do it. Crazy girl. Need some good light. So again, that light may come into yeah. play. <laughs> but I um, found this just really kind of plain, solid. It has a little variation, this this yeah. blue 40 count. Look, Look how, how fun cute he, <laughs> he looks on that 40 count. I just love him. And I found um, fabric for the other ones, too. This next one. Now, this one, did it say? Oh, there it is. Okay. That one was called Periwinkle Mist, and it is, you know, 40 count linen. It does have a little, you can see the variation a little more like that. So my next one is Spring Glory, and that's the pattern. And for it, I have chosen um, 40 count linen that is called Morning Dew. So this is my fabric for this. Um, I have all the colors pulled. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> One more, maybe. <laughs> or he scared it out of her now. But this morning do is what I'll do this spring on. That's gonna um, be pretty. Then pretty, my pretty, pretty. my then I get a little crazy. Uh, Summer joy, love that. So I wanted something summery and fun. So this is it. This one is called lime green. Um, I don't feel like it's real lime green. I do. I don't know. It's it's grass green yeah, to me. Yeah, it's real, real grass, grass green. It's not got that light yeah. that I would think of with lime. So, but those, but I, those are going to show up so pretty. On uh huh. It. I think it'll just be fun. And then my last one is Autumn Thanks, 
looks like this and the fabric I have for it is mulberry mix um, this one is probably the most severe I don't know if you can really tell what that looks like it's a yeah, beautiful purple um, but that orange and that green is going to look beautiful on there. I think it's all just going to pop. Yeah, I think it's going to so be So that's great. it. Um, I have like three more here. Cause and I you, think like, we're getting... you like uh, purples for oh, yeah. Halloween and fall. So I do, I do. that's going to work. Um, my next one is called, I didn't look at the name of dun, this. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Morning Song. And I actually sent this out in an Sorry. international round robin several years ago. So this piece has been to England and Switzerland and maybe Wales and Australia and um, a couple of places in the United States as well. I Very love this cool. group. Very cool. Um, they're so fabulous. And I got a big chunk of this um, skirt in. Yeah, I'm going to have to put something behind it. I got a big chunk of this skirt in, and then um, Mel in Australia went back and found all the little spots where maybe I had missed a stitch or two. Um, there is nothing on this. This is not stained. That is the design, how it, how she gets those, um, Shadows. all of the shading in there to make it look like it's That's moving. That's gorgeous. So... You can see Maybe a little farther back, maybe mm -hmm. see a little better. And it's, I mean, it's just wonderful. Beautiful. The detail is, wow, just mind blowing. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I love it. It's really sweet, so sweet. and um, I like it on the pink. I just think that kind of finishes it and makes mm -hmm. it. Now, my last two are my current whips, or my last three, it looks like, are my current whips. And <clears throat> the first one is one I showed you last week, the Magic Garden Sampler. It says, if this be magic, let it be an art by William Shakespeare. So it's this one, remember, with the crazy, is that a black chicken? Is that a crow? What is that crazy guy? I think because he's got that headpiece, he's a chicken. Chick, chick, chicken. <laughs> and um, this, let me fold it and then it'll show better can you hold the wonky is this a, the curl oh it is right side. i thought you were going to flip it over this is what it looks like now i have really really moved on this but again this is a 40 count linen from um um nancy turner from victorian motto sampler shop and there's a needle on here okay so you can it's pale it pink with yes. some um creamy splotches on it it is just the most gorgeous piece of fabric i i love it and that's half the experience for me um i loved my crazy little watermelon that's purple purple <laughs> <laughs> i did not change colors i am using pretty much what it calls for i think so okay it's a wonderful little piece How fun and then the other one I showed you was Dance of the Tulips. I think this is Nancy's favorite right now. Yeah, I love that. But I'm that. doing, um, just get this in because okay, these are going to go say, back in the other room. going to work? Yeah. No, I won't make you stuff that. And I think even Nancy will be surprised by this because I did make some progress this week. Let me fold down the top. This is on 28 Count Jamaica Sunset from Silk Jamaica Weaver. Jamaica Sunset. Will you hold that? Wow. Too? And you can see I got in most of a tulip. I think it may even wow. be finished. Um, there are a bunch of little flowers that go kind of in these inside spots. And I think I'll wait to the end. I'm working right now on getting some of this in so that I can do this huge long stem that comes all the way up. And that's that's where I am on the that one. The beading on here is just beautiful too. I just, I think that's part, probably what I love the most. I think that one actually goes in here. Sweet. Both of them do. Sweet. Both of those. Okay, so. got it. And then Stitch Mania got me again. <laughs> I was cleaning my stitch room this week and found this pattern. Brown, Buddy, Brown Bunny Run by Erica Michaels. Didn't oh, even cute. know I had this. Now, this picture on the front is done on gauze, and this picture on the back is done on linen. 
Well, I'm stitching on linen, but I like the gauze colors more. Yeah, so, it looks more antique on this side. It does. On the back. And so I've, um, I've decided that I am opting more for the same type of colors okay. as what's on the gauze. I can see that. And I chose this blue linen from Nancy Turner again from Victorian Model. We picked up several pieces of linen when we were there. And, um, She's so sweet to have us up. She is. And I've just been trying some different ones. This is, I believe, a 32 count linen. Beautiful blue. And that's my start with the cool swirls. And I was up until almost two in the morning working on this. I just couldn't stop. And look, I really would have stayed up longer because there are only two more flowers to go. <laughs> and I even have the floss out. It's ready to go. And I just substituted oh, a bunch of, um, a lot of Nancy's floss, her Nancy Turner's floss. Um, it's, it's so fun. I have it all sorted by color. So when I want to kit up a pattern using her floss, this is what it looks like. Uh -huh. You know, I just, I pull these out. They're on rings and I put them in floss away bags. Um, so it's, it's fun. You can pull through and do that. Oh, look, I saw one more. That reminds me of those um, tissue paper flowers. Oh, <laughs> so they're kind of fun. Um, Debbie Dewey convinced me that I should get one of these. You want to pull that out and do it. And look at that. It is so gorgeous. It's Celtic Knot Quilt. Quilt. And it, Lavender Blue Regional yeah. Quilt Series from Nancy's Needle. That's the name of the company, from Nancy's Needle. So, um, this... This, this band doesn't, it's just this, right? Just the picture here. Right. Not this band. Um, and it is solid, so it doesn't really matter. But it's on canvas. And that's as far as I've gotten. And I have had this thing for probably 10 or more years. It's beautiful. But it's one that it's a little more difficult for me to work on. I need to be someplace that I can hold that thing. because. Yeah. Nancy and I are both in-hand stitchers, so we do not... I don't know if I could even figure out how to do this. It's... And I turn the thing all the time. I bet. And, and then you worry, well, I guess this is this is more of a flat stitch, isn't it? It's, not it's a, a satin cross, stitch. Yeah. yeah. It's not a cross stitch where you have to worry about mm -hmm. keeping your um, stitch the correct, the correct mm -hmm. um, direction. Yes. Oh, I've got my hand yeah. caught on the so, and I, you should see, I'll have to show you this ginormous bag God, because I cannot believe that I found this, but look at the size of this bag. And it's one of the zipper bags, and you know how big my my uh, frame was there. So, that is that. Those are, and that's just a few of my whips. Just a few. Just a few. Then, next we wanted to show you... Stash haul. Oh, stash and haul. I was. I have just a couple of things. Um, if I could figure out how to show you the one I talked about last week, I would do that. Um, Nancy showed you the pieces she got from Nancy Turner from Victoria Motto. So I thought I would show you mine too. This one is a 32 count brown. Look at that. It is fabulous. Gorgeous piece. Mm -hmm. And these are eighth yard cuts. That would make a beautiful smoky fall or mm -hmm. Halloween. It's wonderful. Oh, then this one green. is kind of a, I, it's, it is kind of a greened color, but I think it's really truly more of a brown if you're in the right light. So it just is so cool. Then this one is more of a neutral. Oh, and these last two are 36 count. You can see the tags on there. You guys are smart. So there's <laughs> that. And then my little bit of haul this week. I don't know. I came across things and, and this popped up and said, oh, if you buy one thing, we'll give you the other thing free. Who doesn't like free? Who can we <laughs> Oh, so, Right I bought Lovebirds from the Drawn Thread. Look at that. that. And it's a full kit. Gorgeous. So I have everything to start that. That's the one I bought. And then the freebie. And it came with just a little cute little bitty button. 
Oh. So cute. I can't stand it. It's called From My Heart. And look at this. And it says, By My Hand, From My Heart. And it's really cute in that, but look at it as a little bitty pin cushion with all those pins. I love that. I probably will do, oh, those are beads, aren't they? Not pins. Yeah. I, think I will so. probably steal that idea instead. Yeah. Yeah, and what's, what's, what's funny is now that we're doing pin cushions for our retreat. Oh, yeah. I see a pin cushion in everything. Mm-hmm. So I want to do another pin yeah. cushion. So that included what I am doing for my current projects because I'm going to keep working on... Actually, I'm doing... Uh, I am doing the Stitch Mania 2018 Winter Olympics Challenge. Wow. And I am going to make my stuff fit in as much as I can. Uh, that's why I started Brown Bunny Run yesterday because it was opening ceremony. They wanted you to work on a new project or your most recent start. Mm. And today it's Winter Olympics, so you're supposed to stitch on a winter theme piece. Um, I showed you Winter Peace, the Sisters and Best Friends series, yeah. and that's what I'm stitching on today. Um, tomorrow has me stumped. I don't know that I'll find anything. I was going to try and watch for something with red, white, blue, and black while we were going through, but I don't know that I saw those in there. Mm -hmm. So I may stitch on um, uh, something I really just want to stitch on tomorrow. I I don't even patriotic. think I had a patriotic in there. Yeah, so. uh -uh. I have some if you want to use some of mine. <laughs> I have some in the bags <laughs> down there. But what are you stitching on this week? Well, you know, because I pulled out my whips, then I saw the Lady Family Treasures. And I, I actually stitched a little bit on the, it this week. Oh, cool. Not much, but a little bit. When did you finish the sheep? What sheep? Oh, the French woolens. Yeah, I did that. I finished that on Tuesday or Wednesday. So you still had a good chunk of the week yeah, left. Yeah. So I did a little bit on that. But I keep thinking about that beautiful pink fabric from Nancy that we mm -hmm. got. And, you know, I was going to do my row of houses on it, on that pattern. And then I thought, how pretty would Paris be on Ooh, that? Ooh, so cool. So I'm thinking maybe I'm going to start Paris on it. We are both going to start. I was trying to look and see where I put it. We are both planning to start oh, yes. um, a Very piece fun. soon from um, Jardin Prive. Mm -hmm. What's the name of it? I don't know. It's like ABCs or something. It's it's, it's bouquets. It oh, it's yeah, and I'll I'll butcher this. It's sampler a bouquet one, two, and three, and they show it put together as one big long piece. And um, we are going to talk to Nancy Turner. Yeah. Hi, Nancy. Hey. Hope you're watching because we Nancy. need some. <laughs> we need some fabric. Yeah. We're trying to decide colors. Um, this really only uses nine nine colors, and she used DMC on this. And um, we've both talked about whether or not we will do that or if we will limit it because it's two rose or pink, mm -hmm. two green, Greens, two, two blues. blues. Um, oh, there's oh, another. There's third rose. I think that one is a darker one. Yeah. And then the maroon, that's a darker one too. That's mm -hmm. there's. I think there's a little bit of brown in this maybe. I don't know. But I think one of the maroons took look brown. Yes, it goes that way a little. Yeah. So, but again, we will be choosing different count fabrics. I'm considering 40 count. Oh, not me, um, not me. <laughs> Although I may, because <clears throat> Nancy's 40 count has been lovely. Although I may pare back and just do 36 count. Wow. And Nancy will, she's debating whether she will do 28 or 32. Yeah, because I'm, I'm generally a 28 count stitcher. Because I can see that better. I mean, I still have to put on two pair of glasses mm -hmm. sometimes. But, um, you know, I just, that would make it so long. And I like the idea of it being a smaller piece. But mm -hmm. I'm going to have to try the 32 and, and just see if I can do it. And I think that's what that pink piece was, wasn't it? That the I new one that you started, yes. Yeah. So, so then I'm going to start. Then you're going to start, yes. <laughs> but it, I mean, it's her her linen is so lovely to work yeah. on, and it looks like know. it is. So you know, I haven't started anything on any of her linen, and I thought, you know, if I can get into that and start that, then maybe I'll get a thirty-two. And her linen is the reason 
that I have uh, allowed myself to have some starts lately because I've wanted to stitch on her linens to try them out because we have been talking about this Jardin Prive. I just have my working copy, just my pattern yes, here. I don't have the picture. Yeah. So I don't really want to show it, but um, you can go look it up. I think it's an old one. I don't know if you can still get it or not. I think you can. So we are pretty much at the end of this. Yep. Um, I will tell you again that I am a linen snob. Although, here's the funny thing about me. If I'm going to stitch on smaller counts, I want it to be linen. But you'll see when I get further along in my whips, I have some 10 count Tula. <laughs> and I love some crazy that's, that's 10 hilarious. count Tula stuff. <laughs> um, I don't stitch on, on Ada, Aida, however you say it. You know, we say Ada most Ada. of the time. Mm -hmm. um, I don't stitch on that, but I do stitch on that crazy Tula. And I think it's because the Tula is so, so soft. And when I, um, when I use it, it's kind of a memory thing for me. My daughter, when I got her interested in stitching, we um, pulled some Tula and some Lizzie Kate patterns, especially the Halloween type patterns, because Katie loves those. And that's what she really started stitching on. Cool. So it was just, you know, it's kind of a memory thing for me. Yeah, that's And cool. I love it. Do you have anything else? <clears throat> no. Um, I think we do want to ask you a question, though, this week. So if you will respond in the comments below, below. <laughs> What's your favorite fabric? And why? Yeah. Laura likes linen. We know why. I like even weave. I like them because they're even. I don't like Ada because it's usually stiff and it, it to me it has kind of like a plastic feel and I don't like that. But now some of the um, hand dyed Adas are really mm -hmm. pretty and they're different now. But I do like all the even weaves, the Jobelin, the so the usually shells. if I and I have been gifted Ooh, she them beautiful me. fabrics, beautiful yeah. fabrics, and yes. My sister is the beneficiary of all of those things. Love it. So uh, this has gotten way longer than we thought it would. Way longer. Sorry. <laughs> we will not make these this long, probably on a regular basis at all. No. Um, I went through one bag plus just the extra things that I had out. And those were the pieces I came up with. Next week, I will try and go through, or next time that we film, I will try and go through and see how many are in a bag and um, stop a little sooner. I guess I went through a couple of bags, yeah. but yeah, you did. we, um, yeah, anyway, but that's it. So we really are enjoying doing this. Um, we, we have a friend who says that we're so funny and that <laughs> cracks us up because we just we think, think we're being us. That way. <laughs> no, we're just being us. This is us. Um, but that's it for this that's week. That's it so. for this week. Have a great week. Enjoy it. Your stitching. I'm Lance. Wow. You didn't say my name now. It's been so long. She's Nancy. She's Lara. And we're the Addicted Sisters. So like, thumbs up, subscribe, send us your comments. We love the love. Yes, we so. do. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.